Hey guys, I'm back. So I wanted to get on here because it's been a minute and because I moved to Hawaii a year ago and I want to do a house tour because we're re-signing our lease for six months and it finally started looking like a home. I was lucky enough to get my items shipped from Chicago from my apartment to this house but we did we did need to uh, supplement with a little, you know, accessories and just cups and bowls and little things. So everything that we purchased was from a secondhand store or Facebook Marketplace because it's really hard out here. There's no IKEA. Shipping's expensive. So yeah, I'm so excited to show you. Let's go. So this is our view outside of our house. And I am obsessed with these mountains right here and over here. I literally go on hikes on my days off and just scale mountains. I'm obsessed. And then here we have a little citrus tree. Super bitter. I think it's a pomelo. I'm not too sure, but very bitter. Not edible at all. And then here is our living room. So the couch and the chair were shipped from Chicago and honestly I truly manifested this house. I put it out there that I wanted a roommate and I wanted a white blank space and this is exactly it because we were able to use whatever I had in Chicago and just throw it in there, add some pop of color with our books and some small details. I know I got this from Art and Flea. And then we got pancakes over here, but pancakes gets infested with ants sometimes, so we gotta take care of him. And we have some other books. Shout out to my roommate to the left, Aaron, what up? And circling around, we have a little futon. And truly, this was definitely misplaced, don't get me wrong. It does not fit, I'm very aware. <laughs> So this is actually supposed to be for our office, but it's just so nice Ooh. having access to both couches and just like throwing your stuff down there and then I go in my room and it's just like, I love it. It doesn't match, we're working with it. I try to actually um, trick my mind into thinking it does match and it gives it some sort of like an edge. I know I'm lying to myself. And then this is my room. I got this little poster from Kauai and my best friend has one too. It's a little papaya. I love it. And this is my favorite toner. My bed is from Ikea. Loads of pillows. I don't know from where. But then I have this really pretty view and I'm propagating some plants. And here is my little meditation corner. The little ottoman is from Restoration Hardware. I am diffusing lavender and lemon now. Also using Palo Santo and sage. I love that Palo Santo is male and sage is feminine, so I love blending both smells. And I just want to make a quick note about these because Man, I was putting on my eyelash serum right in here. So like doing my stuff, putting my eyelash serum on, and then I had a cockroach fly from this corner behind me to my closet. I was traumatized. It, it's not even funny. Like you're concentrating on something and then there's like a chicken finger sized bug that's flying across you behind your head. It was wild. They're like this, they're this big. They're brown and they fly. Like I, luckily I only had one instance in my room. I don't eat inside my room. I can't. Like, I honestly used to have a little canopy and there was even a hook. And it, I actually just sold it on Facebook Marketplace because apparently it's not helpful, but whatever. I had stories, I had clients tell me that they 
were living in Kailua and they would wake up and they had cockroaches in their hair and I just couldn't have it. So yeah, I, I got that, but now we're over it. And here's another little air purifying plant. It's not doing too well here. I'm not gonna lie, but I do love it hanging. And I think I got it from City Mill and the hanger is from Amazon. This little painting is from my good friend Olivia Block. Her aunt gifted this to me. It's so pretty. It's actually two angels, a mom and their baby. And I'm an angel, so I thought it was really fitting and it was white, so it goes with the color palette. And then here's my closet. And truly, I wear everything that I have. I let go of everything that I don't need. Honestly, lots of blazers. I recently bought this for hiking in Big Island. Our, the place that I work at is freezing all the time, so I utilize the blazers a lot. Lots of basics, not much color until it goes to my like workout stuff. And then, yeah, that's about it. I really try to keep it tidy and just let go of whatever I don't need. But this is my little princess palace without my little bug net. I love the wood paneling on here. It's just so vintage. Obviously it's painted over multiple times and had to sign a lead warning. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And then we're back into the living room. I do my yoga over here and then our straw hats these are super popular in Hawaii made out of I think it's the pineapple straw I'm lying I don't know then a little snake plant another air purifier this is my roommate's room and our dining room so you know it's a little tough out here we only have two chairs we're working with it, okay? And then I got these little paintings from Siam Imports. They're actually pressed flowers. I love them so much. We have a little hanging plant situation here. I highly recommend getting these Amazon clips and just letting your apothos grow crazy like ours is. And on to the kitchen. So luckily they renovated this area for us and just this area. So funny story, I was moving into this place without my roommate at first. She was, her lease wasn't up yet. So I was moving in by myself and my parents were here to help me move in, luckily. And my mom noticed a cockroach in my roommate's room, which is right next to the bathroom. So we knew that there were bugs coming up their drainage. So we put some stoppers on there, whatever. We didn't think it was gonna be a massive problem until I'm cleaning out my kitchen. And I, you know, I just had this inkling and I'm like, I'm gonna call a terminator, exterminator, exterminator, <laughs> terminator. I'm gonna call an exterminator and I'm gonna have them check the place out because I, I'm, not, I'm not putting my stuff into something where cockroaches can nest and, you know, grow their families. <laughs> so we had an exterminator come in and I was in the kitchen and he pulls this cabinet open. Okay, imagine just standing here and then he pulls it out and he's like, oh, look, he points up his flashlight, 20 cockroach eggs. <laughs> I'm not kidding, 20 per cabinet. And it's not like they were hiding inside the cabinet. They were hiding up top, like up, up under. <laughs> it was tough. And I was here alone. My parents were enjoying Hawaii because they did take a week of vacation and like a week to help me move in. So I was out here vacuuming my drawers and using a butter knife to scrape the cockroach shells. It, I don't want to go back. And like that's, you know, that's Hawaii. <laughs> but yeah, this is my kitchen. I love it. 
kind of. I mean, whatever. It's big. It's nice. You know, half the time that you're finding places in Hawaii, if you're looking for a studio, they're not going to offer an oven. So we're really lucky we have cabinet space and a full kitchen. So, you know, we're cooking. I love my house. It's just it's very girly it's very airy looks like this very happy home and then this was my roommate's contribution that's right <laughs> oh i also wanted to talk to you about our water situation here in hawaii because there's a gas spill and like don't get me wrong we probably have so many gas bills that we don't know about but this one actually made it to the news and i was like damn i need a water filter like we were using sink water i know i know i wasn't gonna buy a kangen water filter for three thousand dollars so i bought a pro one these are amazing I was really apprehensive at first though because it is a plastic container and it might have BPA but it is BPA free, whatever. I truly don't believe in it. I try to stay away from plastic. It's the only thing I could do because I was between this and the Berkey, which the Berkey was a standalone for $300 and it's just like, I don't know where my life is going to be in a year. Like if it's, I don't know if I'm going to sell everything or if I'm going to stay here. I just don't know so I was like I'm gonna buy the $50 water filter we're gonna use it for a little and it's actually disgusting because this water filter is like a piece of chalk and then you see like yellow rims on the outside so I'm just guessing that it's from the from the pipes because no one changes the pipes and they're probably pretty old but look at that dirty filter that's all I gunk from our water so sad but grateful so yeah that's our house this is crouching lion this is the best morning sunrise hike you could do beautiful short and quick it's a little blurry but that is my house I'm really proud of it came together nicely and you know what we're still trying Thank you so much for watching. I will be more consistent.